just about every electronic project worth doing these days needs Bluetooth. Whether I'm working on getting my connected toaster to talk to my IoT bread box about slice thickness, or gathering data from my automated house cat tracker to find out who's making all those darn messes all the time, Bluetooth gives the range, speed, and power efficiency I need for a lot of applications. But I'm no expert radio designer, and I don't need to be. I want to be able to buy an off-the-shelf Bluetooth solution that meets my needs. And my friends at Microchip have always had my back on that one. But what if I want a solution that handles Bluetooth 4.0 dual mode? How about that one, hmm? (laughs) Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. Apparently Microchip has me covered on that one too. Dang foiled again. My guest today is Dave Richkas of Microchip, and we're going to talk about a new member of Microchip's Bluetooth RN module portfolio, one that handles Bluetooth 4.0 dual mode. Sweet. Let's get started. Before we get started, remember to click the link. There you can download a free white paper that further expands on this topic. Hi, Dave. Thank you so much for joining me today. My pleasure. Glad to be here. So, I'm working on an IoT design. I've got a bunch of options for that last bit of local connectivity, but Wi-Fi uses way too much power. What do you got for me? Well, what I'm going to tell you about today is our new RN4677 dual-mode Bluetooth module. Okay. Our RN4677 is a Bluetooth 3.0 and 4.0 plus EDR dual-mode module. Okay. Okay. Along the lines of our other RN products, has a complete stack on board, makes it very easy to use with a UART interface and an ASCII command set. It's also field upgradable, and we're also announcing a very nice tool to get you started in your development of a project, our Pigtail Plus daughter board. Excellent. So Microchip already has a line of Bluetooth products, right? Where does this one fit in? Sure. We have our RN41 and 42 Bluetooth Classic modules, and these are for moving data with a standard serial port profile with a UART and USB interfaces. Okay. These are Bluetooth 2.1 compliant. The differences are the RN41 is Class 1 power, where you get 100 meters of range, and the RN42 is Class 2 power, where you're looking at about 10 meters of range. Okay. Both of those modules come in a version with the antenna built into the module and a version that enables external antenna placement. Okay, cool. We also have our RN52, and this is an audio module based on Bluetooth 3.0. It supports A2DP, so your standard SBC codec, and AVRCP for song information, headset profile, hands-free profile, and it also does a serial port profile for moving a little bit of data. This module also supports some premium codecs in the market, the Aptix codec, as well as echo cancellation for hands-free applications. So CVC echo cancellation is available on that module as well. Cool, okay. Within the last year, we announced our RN4020, and that's our Bluetooth low energy module. It's a UART interface, once again, carrying that simple ASCII command set ease of use Mm -hmm. interface, GAT, Most of the profiles are actually on the modules as defined by the Bluetooth SIG. Okay. But we also enable engineers to move custom data to position the data any way they want within that packet and then parse it at the other side. Okay. What we're announcing now is the RN4677, and that's a 4.0 dual mode Bluetooth module. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in the coming slides. Excellent. So who are the people who are going to be interested in this? Good question. Home automation applications... You can think of an interface panel where the user wants to use their smartphone to interact with their thermostat or their alarm system. Sure. And they can quickly adjust a temperature or be alerted to a door being opened or a window being left open. Yeah. But then they might want to also download statistics from the week or do a firmware update to their system. And they can do that over Bluetooth Classic. So simple command and control using Bluetooth Low Energy. Okay. And then moving a little bit more data using Bluetooth Classic. Other application, find me tags, key fobs. Those are very Bluetooth LE centric. Yeah. This is a good fit for that. Proximity sensor applications where you walk up to your front door 
and your door automatically unlocks based on an application that you have on your phone. Cool, okay. Clinical applications, I don't know about you, but I think it would be a great user improvement if my doc had this. Mm -hmm. You walk in, they put a blood pressure cuff on your arm, you stand on a scale, you know, and all this, and the nurse practitioner is writing it down still, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. The improvement here is all of these devices are being enabled by Bluetooth now, and with Bluetooth dual mode, it can communicate over Bluetooth Classic or Bluetooth Low Energy. Everything can be collected via a tablet or a smartphone. Mm -hmm. And then the doc can have all of your stats right at his fingertips and have a historical database right there. Can better manage healthcare that way. For sure. Consumer applications, white goods, letting you know your dryer's done, you know, on the other side of the house (laughs) or wherever. One may ask, well, why do I need Bluetooth low energy in this space? It's, It's mains powered. You know, I don't have a power problem with my washer. Yeah. Well, the idea is to keep that smartphone or tablet in low energy mode, Mm -hmm. right? Right. And then you're doing all your day-to-day work with it. You're communicating with it, checking status, getting alerts over Bluetooth LE. And just like the home automation example, if there needs to be a firmware upgrade, it can be done over Bluetooth Classic. Or there's a service call, they can remotely diagnose problems with your fridge or your washer or dryer, for example. Yeah, okay. One other thing I wanted to add is the dual mode functionality of this module enables legacy compatibility. Oh, okay. So not all smartphones have Bluetooth LE right now. All of the new ones do, but there's a large installed base of those that just have Bluetooth Classic. Right. So dual mode gives the solution of compatibility all the way to those legacy devices. All right, so let's dive down into some of the details of this RN4677. Can this be used in both Android and Apple devices? It can. The way the solution is designed is it's a Bluetooth stack on board, and it's really easy for you to get started in doing your design work in your embedded solution. Okay. The module will enable connectivity to iPhone, iPad, and iPod devices. But, of course, you have to be an Apple MFI licensee to enable this. Yeah. Bluetooth SIG certified, classic serial port protocol support, and MFI data service support with proper Apple licensee. Mm-hmm. UART interface, class 2 output power, and all of the most common international certifications are covered here as well. Very cool. Okay. We've also come out with a very nice development tool, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a future slide here. Excellent. So... Dave, let's go under the hood. What's inside this thing? Sure. So at the core, you have a Bluetooth 3.0, 4.0 plus EDR dual mode core. It's based on our IS1677 SM dual mode Bluetooth chip. Okay. Has a very convenient UART interface. So out of the box, the module works as a UART. So whatever you present at that UART interface is transmitted out over Bluetooth. Okay. Whether it be Bluetooth Classic or Bluetooth Low Energy. Given a certain command sequence, the module can be put into command mode. Oh, okay. So in this case, it's dollar, dollar, dollar. Mm-hmm. Puts it into command mode, and you can modify several different parameters, however you see fit for your design. Then minus, minus, minus puts mm-hmm. it back into data mode. Very cool. Okay. So it's very convenient. It's a 3.3 volt supply on module E squared, I squared C interface onboard crystal and chip antenna and the chip antenna you know saves you the certification hassles Mm. of going out and certifying your own antenna sure so it's a completely certified module as it stands okay so we've talked about what the 4677 does and we've looked under the hood but tell me why it's cool why do i want to use this solution So it's a complete stack on board solution that makes it very easy for you to design with. All of the software needed for this to function is contained on board. Nice, okay. It's a very simple UART interface, ASCII command set. You have all the certifications covered for you before you even start your design. Bluetooth SIG certification, FCC, Canadian IC, Japan, Taiwan. Cool. These are all taken care of. So if your product is a worldwide product, you have no worries of getting it launched in those various geos. That's excellent. As it ships, it's UART transparent right out of the box. Mm. So whatever you present at that UART interface shows up at the Bluetooth output. Nice. Also, it's a pretty compact module about the size of a stamp. 
22 by 12 and only 1.9 millimeters thick. Wow, okay. So pretty easy to integrate into just about any design. Sure. It's also very easily upgradable. We have a mode that enables you to upgrade it over its UART interface. And we also give you a very convenient way to get started in working with this module. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that. Okay, please do. So this is our RN4677 Pigtail. Those of you who are familiar with Microchip's ecosystem, uh -huh. we have this very broad offering of Pigtail development boards. Mm -hmm. And what Pigtails do is they basically plug into one of our host microcontroller development boards. So you can do everything from CAN or Wi-Fi to Bluetooth or Ethernet, just by which board you choose. Mm -hmm. So we have, kind of starting at the bottom here, we have our Pigtail Pigtail Plus interface. And this plugs into those boards. So everything from an 8-bit microcontroller to a 32-bit microcontroller in our product line can be used as your host micro. Cool. Obviously, we have the 4677 on board. It's a fully certified module, as we've mentioned. And another really cool interface here is it has a USB interface. Basically, that USB interface enables you to plug this module into your PC, use a terminal program like TerraTerm, yeah. and start sending those ASCII commands across the USB interface to the module. And so within five or ten minutes of receiving the board, you can be up and running and trying out code that you've developed. Very nice. Yeah. We have connection and data status LED, reset button, configuration uh, mode switches, for use with legacy PC programming tools, we have our BM77 as well, and this supports BM77 commands and the user interface tool. It's one of our legacy products, so we wanted to retain that for existing customers. Gotcha, okay. You have power switch, wake up switch, and the I squared C interface as well. All right, Dave, give me a quick recap on this bad boy. Sure. So I can't say it enough, and I still get the question. It is a complete solution. You don't need to do any fancy coding. You don't have to know anything about Bluetooth stacks to use this. Good. It's convenient UART interface, and it starts in that mode. It starts looking just like a UART to your design. Mm -hmm. Transmit power is a 2 dBm. That's typical Bluetooth transmit power for local area mm -hmm. connectivity. RX sensitivity of minus 90 dBm gives you a good link budget and, you know, robust connection. UART command interface, UART data interface as well. It's Bluetooth 3.0, 4.0 compliant with EDR. That's enhanced data rate for the higher data rates that defined back in 2.1, I believe. You get decent throughput as well as getting Bluetooth low energy command and control functionality. It's standards based. So you have the reliability of being compatible with other devices out there. Right. And we've achieved most international regulatory certifications in a pretty compact size of 22 by 12. Excellent. Well, this was super cool, but I think I've finally run out of time. Thank you so much for joining me, Dave. All right. Thank you. Before we go, don't forget to click that link. There you can download a free white paper that further expands on this topic. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton. For more Chalk Talks, check out the EE Journal YouTube channel or the on-demand section of eejournal.com.